Have you ever wanted to offer photo and text personalization on your print on demand products, but you weren't really sure how that works? You didn't really want to do it manually, switching out photos, swapping out the text. You know, you just want to collect sales on Etsy and Shopify for personalized products, have it all automated, have it all seamless. Well, today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do that with a fun and silly product. It is an apron. I'm going to put my face on it, but obviously you can upload any photo. You can put a cat face there, you know, whatever, a pet. We're also going to be offering text personalization so the other element to this we're gonna be adding in a trending design don't worry I watched a video I can do this is essentially the concept and um, we're gonna be adding that in at the bottom as well to show you how you could potentially take a design that has worked well for another seller and add personalization to it it's one way to stand out in the marketplace right now because there are a lot of people joining print on demand they're seeing the benefit they're starting stores and so how can you stand out and and what do your customers actually want and what do they value and a lot of the times that can be personalization so today i'm going to be showing you exactly how you can do this on aprons shower curtains cutting boards t-shirts whatever it is that you want to personalize it can all be done and it can all be automated it doesn't need to be a complicated process i'm going to show you exactly how to do that anywhere pod is the most affordable option the easiest to set up and use and it offers every feature and tool that we will possibly need to not only create these personalized products and offer them to our customers but automate the fulfillment process to where we don't have to go in and handle all of the manual work. So once you sign up for Anywhere POD, it will ask you to sync up with your Shopify, Etsy, Printify account. And if you don't have Printify, that's totally fine. It's free to sign up for. I have a link for that in the description below. And I also have a 50% discount for Anywhere POD. I'll also put that in the description for you guys. Once you're signed up and you've synced up your Shopify, Etsy, and Printify, which should only take about 60 seconds, one click, really easy step-by-step -step process, then you're gonna be able to search for products. You're gonna search for apron, right? And the specific apron that we're going to choose from on this list is the Adult Apron AOP. You could choose a different one, but I think this one has a great price point. We're gonna make a good amount of profit per sale, and it looks like it's great quality. So we're gonna start designing. Now the very first thing that we can do is actually add in the image or artwork for this apron. So I'm gonna click on Add Image Artwork. And now I'm going to add in a placeholder image. In this case, it's gonna be a picture of me. <laughs> Many times for your placeholder image, you're probably going to want to try and embody what your customer may want to put on the design, um, your target audience, you know, how they might see the product themselves. So it's good to include an actual face for the placeholder instead of just some blank text that says photo here. Um, I think it's good to actually put in a photo. It doesn't need to be yours, obviously, but for this video example, I don't mind <laughs> putting my face on this apron. So one of the big things you need to pay attention to here is that this needs to be personalized, right? Obviously, this apron isn't going out with just me on it. It needs to actually have the option for someone to upload an image to swap in. So we're doing personalized. We're gonna enable the image cropper to allow the customer to crop the image to match the design. And then we're going to add in the option title of upload image. So this works like many design tools. It has different layers, right? So you have, you have different layers. You can do artwork layers, text layers, multi-line text, and even clip art options. That's one of the newest options. We have a tutorial on how you can use clip art. You can watch that. I'll link it here. So the next thing that we would do is add in the personalized text layer. So this is gonna be the layer that will be the name. Now, if you weren't doing an apron, if you were doing like a mug with a date on it, obviously do the exact same thing, but instead of choosing an apron, you are designing on top of a mug. Learn from the design concepts that I'm showing you here and how to actually use Anywhere POD. So next we're gonna go ahead and put in that personalized text. For the actual text that's gonna be displayed, in this case, it's going to be a name and I'm gonna put Jacob, and I think the sizing on it looks pretty good. I'm just gonna lower this down because we're gonna add in one more text layer above it, and I'll come back to that in a second, but text box that actually needs the name personalization, we will want to come back and check personalized. Now you can make this uppercase, and you can also make this dynamic or preset. I'm gonna leave it on dynamic so that the font will actually adjust in size to, to fit the size of the name, 
and it will adjust automatically for me and I'm gonna leave off uppercase. Now, this is personalized. We don't want it to be optional. We want it to be mandatory. And then for the option title, we're going to put input name or type name or whatever you want it to, to be. Now we can choose a different font if we wanted to. I'm just gonna leave it on this default font, but just to show you how many different fonts you have, hundreds of fonts and you can add more if that's not enough or if you wanted to add a custom font. There's the name, there's the photo. Both of these are personalized. Now this one up here is actually not going to be personalized. If you remember the original design, this one here actually just says Chef Jacob. And for this one, I will change the font really quick, maybe to something different and we'll center that and then underneath we're going to add in another text layer and this text layer is essentially going to be the quote that I mentioned earlier and it will not be personalized either so to actually set the size of the text box what you're gonna do is actually drag this out and the blue borders will show you where the text is going to dynamically expand and contract and there it is guys that's the basic outline of it you can even see the preview mock-ups from here to kind of see like what it's going to look like on the actual apron of course you can adjust the sizing if, if you don't like how the sizing looks or if you don't um, you know, like where the elements are placed, you can move them around, but I'm pretty pleased with how this looks. The only thing I might do is come down here and change the font to match um, the font that we chose for above. That way it doesn't look too strange. And honestly, I might choose a bolder font here. So let's just choose Grand Standard 900 as a bolder font. And then here in the center, instead of the name, a lot of the times the name it looks really nice if you do cursive. So let's see if we can find some sort of, maybe maybe Sacramento would look really nice here. Um, for the name, we can make this a little bit bigger. We can do a cursive font and then it tends to stand out a little bit better. So I like how this design is looking. I don't want the chef to be too big. And just like that, we have a very simple personalized design. I'm gonna publish this product and I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the Shopify store. So let's go ahead and create the product. And now you'll be able to actually see the mock-up generation. And one thing that's really cool, once it's finished generating our mock-ups, we can actually generate a video right here inside of Anywhere POD. So if you're on Etsy and someone scrolls over your listing, they hover over your thumbnail, they're gonna see a video play. If you're on Shopify, it's just very helpful to have video content on Shopify as well to help convert your customers. So what you can do is hit generate video. You can select the mockups that you wanna use in your video, hit save, and then it's going to generate that video. And when you're ready, you can simply create a new Etsy listing or push to Shopify and you'll be ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this to Shopify so that I can show you what this actually looks like on our website. But before we go over to Shopify, remember that you can edit your title, your description, your tags. You can do it all here within Anywhere POD. So it can be kind of the central base for your products. And then it can connect to everything else that you do, Etsy, Shopify, etc. So if you came down here and you wanted to update your prices, you could do it here. If you wanted to update prices, add variants or update variant names for Etsy or Shopify, it would be very easy to do so in this section. And then down here at the very bottom is an important setting. Do you want to fulfill orders automatically? Yes or no. So if there's a particularly complex design, maybe you don't want the order to go through automatically. Maybe you just want to have a fresh set of eyes to make sure everything looks good. Then you hit approve and it goes through as an order and you can, you have that option. Now down here in the bottom, I leave most of mine on automatic fulfillment just because I want to make sure that everything's automated. But if you have a new product, it's not a bad idea to set it to, to manual automation um, or manual approval at first. So I'm gonna hop on over into Shopify and show you exactly what the personalization actually looks like because not only can we create these products with Anywhere POD, but they actually allow us to modify our Shopify theme to add personalization there. So a customer can upload a photo, they can enter their text, they can do everything they need to do for personalization right there on Shopify. On Etsy, there is a personalization tag that you can select when you're creating a listing. I show how to do that in another video, go watch that. It will essentially open up the personalization box for you. Your customer can enter in the text 
and then it will all, all be automated because anywhere POD is actually going to detect the personalization elements that your customers have put in. So if they put in a birth month or they put in specific details about what they want to be personalized, Anywhere POD is actually going to pull out that information from the Etsy personalization um, input uh, form that the customer fills out when they're buying a product. All right, so it should be ready on Shopify. Let's go see what it looks like. As you can see, we can easily type in a name. We can easily upload a file for an image and then we can add to cart and check out. Obviously you'd wanna add reviews, you'd wanna go in and clean up the title, the description, and you could even take it to the next level, come over to place it and get some more mockups that are way more effective at converting and showing your apron in an actual real life situation. You know, someone camping, someone cooking, people in real settings and scenarios that will help sell your product. So I highly recommend place it. I'll put a link for that below as well. Guys, that's all I have for you today. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. If you want to join the free Facebook group below, you're going to get more tips, strategies for your print on demand journey. Go ahead and join that. And guys, if you want one on one coaching, you can book a zoom call. If you're interested in private group coaching, where we meet weekly and talk about how to succeed in print on demand and how to grow your business and, and products that are currently working, then go ahead and apply for group coaching. I sincerely hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. See you in the next video. Love you. Bye.